Hey guys, Ringit421 here. Today I'm going to show you a video on how I paint my plastic stocks, composite stocks that come on most of the cheap, cheaper firearms. This one here is off my Marlin XT22. So I'm just going to give it a quick uh, woodland camo paint job. So the stock comes black, so I'm just going to leave or cut out some tape and tape off the spots I'm going to keep black like the patterns kind of behind me you see here and the paint I use is the Krylon Camouflage Flat Black paint and the tape I'm going to be using is uh, frog tape painters tape it's really good for uh, keeping out the, the bleeding from behind the tape and that so works pretty good for this job uh, as a prep for this stock before paint just make sure there's no oil on it I, normally don't do too much degreasing because I don't have too much oil on the stocks to start with so this is how I'm going to do it. I'll show you step by step of cutting out the pieces after I stick them on I'll roll another section of video and uh, then hit, hit the paint. Alright see you in a bit. Okay guys this is the first uh, layer of cutouts. This is going to be Everything that you see green will be black after the stock is completely painted. So I just masked off a few spots and the way I do it is put a bunch of tape on the inside of the cover, overlapped a little bit, use an X-Acto or razor blade, cut out little odd shapes and forms and stick them on the stock and kind of try to follow a pattern like, like look Google up a uh, a picture of the multicam or the woodland camel that you want or the digicam that you want and try to kind of follow some of the patterns and get an idea what it'll look like when you're finished and usually you start with the darkest colors and work your way up to the lightest so we're starting out with the base color of black and we're going to work our way up to the light tan so the first coat's going to be like a dark OD green and I'll show you what that looks like after it's done Okay, so here we have our first coat of paint. I went with the uh, light, sandy, like desert tan kind of color. And uh, so now this is going to be my second color. So I'm going to apply more tape over top of this color. As you can see from the pattern behind me, these are more longer colors and small little dashes. So we're just going to do that. And you can see exactly where the black's going to be. Like there's a little elevated areas so you watch you don't overlap that and then then you just do one more coat with the OD green let it dry pull the tape off and then you have your malt or your woodland camo pattern stock okay so now I have masked off everything that I want to stay tan so that it'll be green at the moment and then I'll hit it with another coat of OD green and then I'll let it dry, probably about half an hour, 40 minutes or so. It'll almost be completely dry by then. This has only been 25 minutes since I painted this last coat and it's already dry, not tacky at all. So, and I find too that if it's not completely dry, you have less chance of peeling the paint when you remove the masking tape. So I'll go hit this with another coat of, uh, or a coat of OD green. And then I'll show you what it looks like after that. As you can see there, it's I don't know, still a little bit wet. I'm not going to touch it yet because I don't want to leave any fingerprints in it. But it looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. So I'll, I'll show you after I take the stickers off what it looks like. Okay, so here's the finished product. Firearm is safe. Nothing in the magazine. But it uh, looks pretty good. I guess you could have spent more time doing a little better pattern but for the amount of time it took about an hour in total I would say it turned out pretty nice so that's the new paint job for the Marlin XT22 I'm gonna head out to the range tomorrow maybe make another video shooting it we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah that's how you. That's how I paint my synthetic stocked uh, firearms. Thanks for watching the video. 
please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.